Okay, a lot of people have been asking me how I would do speed lines. Um, a, pretty much a staple of uh, anime movies is the effect of speed lines. So I'm going to start off by drawing a background, as always. Just draw a blue square, and I'll go ahead and create a vector layer, and I'll call this speed lines. And I'm going to draw another uh, square. I'm just drawing it off the canvas so you can see it still. I'll hit Q and select that blue. I'll go up to the fill, change it to a lighter blue, and I'm also going to change the opacity to about 50%. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to uh, add some points, or actually hit T. I'll move this point almost to the center of the canvas. I think I'll add another point here. Drag these up. I'll hex, I'm going to hit G and uh, turn the grid on. Command G. And I'll hit T. And I'm going to grab this point and just snap it right to the very center of our canvas. And then Command G again to turn it off. And I'm going to extend these lines up out of the canvas. We actually don't even need these points. We only need three. So. Let me just delete those. So we'll do that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and create a particle layer and click on the speed lines, left click, click and drag it into our particle folder. And we'll select that. Let's go ahead into go into the click in the timeline and hit spacebar to let it play. And then we can see what we're creating as, as we change the options. So as that's playing, click Particle Options. I'm going to go ahead and change the Particle Preview to 100, since that's how many we have already. I'll change the Lifetime of Frames to 12. And let's go ahead, let's zero out the source width and height for a second. Um, the velocity, let's turn to zero. I'm going to turn the spread. I'm not sure yet. Let's turn these down to zero to the acceleration, uh, direction, acceleration, rate, down, and then let's crank the spread up. We'll go, let's go to uh, 9,000, that's a lot. Um, and then uh, let's turn, okay, um, the spread is right now, 7,808 around there, but then let's change the velocity spread till it looks looks pretty good. I think that looks good. See some of the ed edges are showing on the canvas and I don't want that. So I'm going to click on the canvas, go back to frame zero, click in the speed lines. I'll go ahead and drag these up even further just to make sure they're clear of the canvas. Click on the particle layer again. Let's take a look. Yeah, see all of the edges are off of the canvas. And that looks good. And that's that's it. That's all you have to do to make speed lines. Um, but I am going to add a couple more things just to make it look better. Let's double click on the speed line and then click add. Now, um, for the layer blending mode, um, when you click add, apply that. What that does is if we look at the particle layer and render it, Anywhere that the lines overlap, they become brighter. It, it adds to the color. So like right here, it's almost white, or it is white, and it just adds more variety to your lines. And I think I'm also going to, let's go in the speed lines one more time. I'm gonna hit Q and select it, and then under the effect, I'll hit soft edge, and I'm just gonna type in two and hit okay. And then let's render that out. That just blurs the lines a little more. Um, it depends on what you're going for, what you're looking for, but I like to have it a little blurred so it just looks like it's so fast you can't even focus on it. So that's all you have to do. And then we can throw in a character. Um, I'll go ahead and import an image I already grabbed off the internet, Goku. Just place him here in the middle, shrink him down, we'll go to frame, I don't know, 96, have him zoom in, and 
and that looks pretty good. But of course he's flying so fast we need him to shake. So I will click on his uh, layer, click on the transform layer tool, and then we'll go to frame one, click on him, right click on the uh, keyframe you just made, and we'll click on noisy. And let's turn it way down. We want it to be like 0 0.01, maybe 0 0.01, let's see. Yeah, we'll just leave it at 0 0.01 for the amplitude and the scale so he shakes like he's flying. And then he'll stop right there and just hover. And that's it. Um, I'll render this out real quick so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, here's the final render, and it, all it took was one little piece of artwork and a particle layer, and that's it. Very easy. So, if you have any questions or uh, comments, just leave them down below.